Okay, so this is a simple set of notes on conditional and by conditional. statements. Okay, so a conditional statement, so that's our topic, there are conditional statement is anything that's in the form of if p then q. Okay, so the p part we call the hypothesis. And the Q cart we call the conclusion. Okay, so this is a little bit of logic here, right? Um, if a conditional statement is true, then every time the P part is true, it should lead to a true conclusion. Okay, so this is what we call a conditional statement. It's an if part and a then part. We call the if part a hypothesis. We call the then part a conclusion. So let's give an example of this. If a student attends Garrison Forest School, then the student is a private school student. Okay, so this is a pretty straightforward sentence. The hypothesis is a student attends Garrison Forest School. The conclusion is the student is a private school student. Every time the hypothesis P is true, every time we have a student that attends Garrison Forest, then it follows that Q, the student, is a private school student. You move from hypothesis to conclusion. Okay, so that's what a conditional statement is all about. All right, so this gives us um, a moment to say, like, well, what happens if I reverse this? Okay, so we're going to about to talk about reversing that, which is what's called a converse to the conditional statement. Okay, so a converse to the conditional statement is that if the original conditional is if p then q the converse is if q then p so the trick here is is that when the conditional is true the converse might be true or it might be false so there's no correlation between the truth value of the conditional and the truth value of the converse. So let me illustrate this. Like if I have the conditional, if today is Monday, then tomorrow is Tuesday, the converse to this would be if tomorrow is Tuesday, all one word, Tuesday, then today is Monday. Okay, so both of these are true. The conditional is true. If today is Monday, then tomorrow is Tuesday. That makes sense. And the converse is also true. If tomorrow is Tuesday, then today is Monday. We switch the if and the then, and they stay true. But this is not always the case. So let's go back to our original example of a conditional. We had if uh, you are a GFS student, then you attend a private school. Now that's true. Every one of our students is a GFS student who attends a private school. Okay, but now let's look at the converse, right? So that's true. The, 
that statement is true. But the converse, right? So uh, that looks ugly. C O N V. There we go. Converse, right? The converse here is going to be if you attend a private school. Aha, this is going to get there. If you attend a private school, then you are. A G F S student. This is not true. Okay, this is false. Uh, all we need is one counterexample to do this. So, ah, let's pick a kid from McDonough. McDonough is a student at a private school. Private school, a C H school. Then you are a G F S student. No, that's not true because they go to McDonough. They don't go to G F S. All right, or a school from Brick, student from Bridmar, or a student from Roland Park Country School, or a student from St. Paul's. They all go to private schools, and none of them are G F S students. So here, the conditional is true, but the converse is false. So there is no connection between the truth value of the conditional and the truth value of the converse. So if you're going to prove this, you have to prove both of them independently. Now, if you get lucky enough that both of them are true, then you get what is called a biconditional statement. So if the conditional is true, so if P then Q, And the converse is true if Q then P. The biconditional will also be true, and we write it this way. We say P if and only if Q. That's a lot of words there, right? So P, if and only if Q. This combines these two sentences into a single sentence. So if this is true, then both the conditional and the converse must be true. So like something that we've said here that could be written as a biconditional is you could say that today is Monday if and only if Tomorrow is Tuesday. So this would be a true biconditional statement. Today is Monday, if and only if tomorrow is Tuesday. Why does this work? Because we could say, if today is Monday, then tomorrow is Tuesday. Say, if today is Monday, then tomorrow is Tuesday. And we could say, if tomorrow is Tuesday, then today is Monday. So that would be the conditional and it's converse. If I get both of those, then the biconditional is true. Yay. Okay, so let's summarize. All right, so in summary, you have a conditional statement, which is if P, then Q. And you have its converse, which is exchanging the Q and P, if Q, then P. And if they are both true together, we get a biconditional P, if and only if Q. All right, so that's a basic summary of this section we're going to play around with some of this in class uh next time around but thanks for listening